15 was much of the same in Goshen. As you can see, some there were well, roads were just shut down this morning because of the high water covering many roads. In fact, after the heavy rains just pummeled the area, neighbors say this isn't unusual for areas like this to flood, but they also feel the tornado that hit in July has made things worse than usual. Over in Switzerland County, students are wondering how they are going to get to school. The heavy storms there left roads impassable. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller explains the delays that students will now face and how some of them are even stepping up to help. The superintendent told me today they began that big task of doing reroutes and reaching out to families who would be affected by these delays. He says, thankfully, it will be a minimal impact. Instead of off, it was a holiday on. No, we actually don't practice every Labor Day, but we have a huge game tomorrow. After a weekend filled with storms, the Switzerland County Pacers soccer team is hard at work on the field. Going through the rain itself at the time, we didn't actually feel like it was that much. And then, you know, through Facebook and social media, we started seeing that, that there was some serious damage. And Roads completely impassable, rushing water, wiping out a bridge, trapping a family. So instead of just sitting around, Switzerland County Athletics joined in to help. Monday morning, the football team replaced that washed out bridge and the soccer team gathered and helped box up food for the school's food pantry. But no, these are my guys and we show up when we need to to help the community because we're a part of it. Because some major roads are now severely damaged, district officials work with the county to help reroute buses when students return Tuesday. You know, we've had some tragedies hit the community before, but at the same time, the community's always pulled together. Seeing the extent and the length of time that these bridges are going to be out, that is going to be a workaround for us for the first time as a school for a while. After assessing what those new routes will look like, Superintendent Height is estimating a five to 10 minute pickup and drop off delay for students. In Switzerland County, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.